Okay, this is a quick tutorial on the applique block. Um, I did promise in the last class that we would, I would do a video on this. Uh, just in case you wanna do this sort of preparation work at home to save you a little bit of time at the ironing board in the class. So to do this, what you need is your 13 inch square and then your four large petals and your four small petals, which we traced and we fused in the class and we cut them out in the class. So the first thing you need to do is with your 13 inch square, we want to put some crease marks on it just to help us sort of work out where to put our, um, our petals. So in order to do that, if you first take your fabric and you fold it in half and then fold it in half again in the other direction, that's essentially going to, uh, when we iron that, it's going to give you sort of uh, four lines or two lines intersecting each other through the center and then you want to fold it again you want to fold it from sort of what would be the center okay which is sort of where the two kind of folded sides come together to the other the other side and you want to take that and you want to press that so that we get really nice firm creases so here I've got another one here where I've already pressed it. So now when I open this out, you should be able to see that that is all creased, okay? So we've got these two creases, um, vertical and horizontal, and then we've got two diagonal creases as well, all coming through the center. Now, if for some reason you have creases going this way, it just means that last fold, you did it from the wrong corner to the wrong corner. So uh, what you can do is just repress the whole thing, refold it. Um, alternatively, what you can do if it's easier is you can fold it and press it this way, then open it out if I can get it open. And then of course you can fold it and press it and, and fold it and press it. So basically whatever you find easiest to give you all four of these lines. So a straight, a vertical, a horizontal, and two diagonals all meeting at the center. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put down our large petals and the way that we're going to do that, we want sort of the center point of each of our large petals to be a half an inch away from the center. So the easiest way I find to do that is to find a diagonal line. And if I want to put this one on first, what I want to do is with my ruler, I want to take the half inch on my ruler and I want to put it right on that diagonal crease. Okay, so diagonal crease half an inch so i've got a quarter inch and then a half an inch and i'm just placing that right on that diagonal crease once i've done that i'm going to take the paper off the back of one of my large petals before you fully take off the paper make sure that it's the fabric that's sticky and not the paper okay if the paper is still sticky then it means that your fusible web um, has started coming away with the paper instead of staying with the fabric easy enough to fix you just push it away from the paper back onto the fabric and then it'll stay with the fabric after that so once we've got the backing off of that we've got this lined up all we need to do is on our diagonal line we're just going to put the inside point of the petal where the ruler is and we're going to put the outside point of the petal on the on the diagonal line okay so that's our first one done and what I can do now is just keep working my way around. So now I'm putting my half inch on the ruler uh, on another diagonal. Okay, this one pulling off the paper. Lining that up again. This point on that crease right at the ruler, other point also on the diagonal line on the other side. Just to make this a little easier, I'm now gonna just go ahead and turn my block. So I'm gonna do the same thing again, half inch going on the crease, taking my paper off. 
lining it up. So because your fabric is sticky, it's gonna stay essentially where you put it, okay? But if you're not happy with where you put it, it's not permanent yet until we iron it down. So you can readjust if you're not happy. And then let's do this one. And then I'm gonna take paper off the last one, which came off really easy. And again, we're gonna line it up. Now, this background square is gonna be a little bit larger than what we need. So, you know, if, if you feel that you're having a little bit of problems getting things lined up, don't, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. So, that's the first ones, um, the first four petals on. Now we're gonna put the smaller petals on and we're gonna put them one and a half inches from the vertical and the horizontal lines. So now I'm gonna do one and a half inches. So there's one quarter quarter. So one and a half is right on uh, my horizontal line. <laughs> I'm gonna take the paper off. Too much thinking here. Okay, and I'm gonna place that on there. Now, I'm lucky in the fact that this actually happens to be a three inch wide ruler, so I don't have to move the ruler to do the one below. Of course, if you're using your six inch wide ruler, you know, you'll just move it four times to, to get it placed. Okay, so that's those two. And now I'm gonna line it up this way. So one and a half in, right down the center. And obviously you can do this with any, any size ruler. Place that one down. And now I'm gonna place this one down. Okay, so that's all of my petals in place. Now, if you look at this and, and you kind of feel like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not really happy with this or that, and you want to move things, of course, you can just sort of, you know, you can lift things up and, you know, you can get them to where they're sort of um, visually pleasing to yourself, right? Um, you know, it's sometimes you just kind of you eyeball something and you look at it and you think that's not quite right. So now once we've got all of these where we want them, we're going to take this over to the ironing board and we're going to press it.